What's going on YouTube family? Back at you guys again with another video. As you guys can see from the title, I'm going to show you 10 products I have sold within the last month or two on Amazon. Um, I found all these products using the model of retail arbitrage. For those of you who don't know what retail arbitrage is, it's going to you know big box retailers, discount stores, um, into online stores and finding products at a discount that you can sell for a markup on Amazon for a profit. If you're interested in learning more about stuff like that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But I'm going to go through, give you guys some, you know, type of products I'm selling right now. It is Q4, so toys are definitely a hot item I'm selling at the moment. But just thought it'd be interesting, kind of tell you guys where I'm finding these products, where I'm getting them. Uh, and just give you guys the rundown on all of them. This was a video game, Stormblood. I found these at Walmart for three to five dollars. I got a bunch of different video games. I was selling these for like twenty-one dollars. The price has since fallen. I don't know if this is for used. Um, appears to be new, um, but I was selling them for around twenty bucks. Price has since fallen. Um, as you guys know, Walmart super competitive. But I'm lucky. Got out of there with about you know six seven eight dollars profit on these sold I think five or six of them so Stormblood PlayStation 4 video games are great um, I don't come across them that often because I'm not actively sourcing Walmart as much as a lot of other people but I know a lot of people that crush the video game uh, stuff at Walmart and Target and stuff like that so definitely video games are fast sellers um, especially if you can find the right ones typically are pretty good profits um, they're light to ship fees aren't that much so video games are a great place to look even use video games if you guys are finding them at thrift stores garage sales stuff like that I've made very good money um, selling Mario Kart video games used I've sold used video games for up to like 50 60 bucks sometimes um, so definitely don't sleep on video games and use video games tons of money to be made um, and yeah I know people who make full business models just off of selling video games but next item is going to be a mega constructs I find a lot of these at like Marshalls Ross TJ Maxx stuff like that love selling them um, pick this guy up I believe it was $14.99 at Ross. I sold it anywhere from like $37, $38. Bucks. Price has now gone up to $42. Um, made a decent, you know, $10, $11 profit. I think I got my hands on three of them. Um, but always be looking out for these mega constructs, uh, different toys. Um, even, I find a ton of them. But they're definitely great sellers, especially the ones that have higher pieces. They have tons of different types of mega constructs. Like, they're almost like Legos. They have like they're not Barbie, but like girly ones, Star Wars ones, um, just tons of different mega constructs, little Lego type things. Um, Destiny is a great brand as well, or whatever Destiny is, a video game or something like that. Um, but definitely always be looking out for these procs. You can kind of tell just by looking at a price graph that when all the retail stores get it, prices drop, and then they start to slowly recover. But definitely look out for these Destiny mega construct video games, etc, etc. Next is going to be the Stranger Things. I've been selling a ton of Stranger Things stuff, been finding a lot of it um, out at the stores. Um, Stranger Things is a very popular show. Um, I've sold Stranger Things Monopoly. I've sold tons of these different characters. Um, and some of them go for pretty good money. I've sold some little guys like this for over like 25, 30 bucks. Um, so definitely something to be on the lookout for. Amazon's now on the listing. Uh, but was lucky. Enough. I was getting these for like $3.99. I believe at Marshalls or Roth, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but definitely make sure you guys are looking out for these, you know, big TV brand collaboration toys. Um, they do extremely well. Pega Pigs, um, things like that that the kids are into, super popular, have hype, have demand for collectors, um, so on and so forth. That is very, um, it just increases demand, uh, scarcity increases the price, um, and I don't know how these discount stores get them, but they get them, and sometimes you can make some good money on them. So be out for, be on the lookout for Stranger Things and just different type of TV series, special edition items in general. Next is going to be this little Marvel Thor guy. Um, found this dude, I believe, at Dee Dee's discounts for. $5.99 or $6.99 sold for about 22 bucks so made a good eight dollars profit got about six or seven of these guys which is weird because I'm typically ungated or restricted in Marvel but for some reason on this dude and another item I'm going to show you the listings were open I hopped on sold them 
the went smooth. Um, so definitely, if you guys, DD's Discounts is just like an off branch of Ross. So if you guys definitely check out DD's Discounts in your area, tons of great stuff. It's pretty much the same stuff that Ross gets, but um, I didn't even know what DD's Discounts was until probably five, six months ago. Um, and there's tons of them out there. So definitely be looking for those stores as well. Next is going to be this little guitar thing. Found this at Ross, I believe, for like $19.99. Sold it for around $50, so made about a $15 profit. It sold pretty quickly. I only got one of them, um, but just random stuff like this that, you know, doesn't come up too often, especially at stores like Ross. Whenever I see these like electronic type things, they, they're a little bit more higher end. Ross doesn't get them a lot, but when they do, they usually bring in some great profits. So definitely be on the lookout for just weird items like this that aren't really too familiar because um, they can definitely go for some good money especially if they connect to the phone um, there's just tons of just random stuff out there that connect to phones nowadays 3d or virtual reality just crazy stuff like that um, so definitely be on the lookout for stuff like this this one is by little bits next is going to be the Marvel Thor these were the big hitters I got these for $8.99 got about 10 of them sold them all within a few days um, they look like this got these at Ross or DD's discounts as well sold them all for like 43 to 45 dollars so I made probably 20 bucks 25 bucks a pop on them profit um, 10 of them not a bad flip um, again I was gated in Marvel most Marvel stuff I'm gated in but for some reason ungated for these different Marvel branded this little theme of items that they had so definitely if you guys see these and you're typically gated if you find an item that has really good profit it never hurts to check because sometimes listings are open for one reason or another um, I find brands that I'm typically gated in that for some reason a certain listings open a lot of people make the listings themselves not my problem I hop on them but hop on them at your own risk because do know you're taking a risk um, selling a brand that you're typically gated in but I do it not saying you guys should but sell at your own risk but just a quick little I guess tip um, for you guys these I've been I got a ton of these for like three bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond but it's on them for like 20 bucks only making like six dollars profit but they're these little Tsum Tsum things I don't know I guess it's a popular show maybe I'm not into the whole Disney stuff anymore but maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments with this Tsum Tsum or if I'm even saying that right what it is but little Mickey um, portable play case with all the little figures pretty cool toy they're actually pretty big they're about this big um, but for three bucks they're like marked off, marked down plus an extra 75 percent off at Bed Bath & Beyond um, so definitely, I think they're getting ready to close. I don't know if they've started actually closing locations, but that's definitely a store on my radar to look out for, especially if they do close down locations. They will be liquidating out their inventory, and there's great opportunity um, when stores do that. So definitely something to be on the lookout for you guys. Next is going to be this little live pets. I think I got these at Marshall's or Ross. Picked them up for $12.99. There is another one that looks exactly like this, but it's just a different character. Um, it's only selling for like 20 bucks. So I don't want you guys to walk into Ross and see a toy that looks exactly like this, but it's just a little bit of a different character. Um, you have to find this one on this listing um, that goes for this price. I sold about 10 of them so far, making about a $10, $12, $13 dollar profit. Fast sellers, they sell as soon as they hit the warehouse. Um, let's see what the ranking is. For some reason it's ranked 304,000 in toys right now, but I sold mine off in a couple days, probably because it's Q4, um, but definitely brand to be on the lookout. I find these throughout the year at Ross, so definitely be looking out for this Little Live Pets. They have bigger versions, they have tons of different toys, but it's a very popular brand um, for those of you who didn't know about Little Live Pets. Next is going to be these life proof. I've sold tons of these life proof cases from Walmart. I've gotten them as low as $3 before, but I got the specific one for $10. I got about 11 of them, sold them all for around, you know, 24 to like $26. So I was only making about a $7 profit. Um, but all in all, they sold very quickly. They all sold almost in the same day. This is a super popular brand of phone cases. They go for high dollars. I've sold some of these for up to $60, the brand before. Um, so definitely look out for life-proof cases at Walmart. 
big money can be made when you find these, especially there are certain seasons throughout the year where Walmart will discount all their phone cases. Um, I can't remember which season it is, but it happens once or twice a year, um, and all their phone cases go on clearance. No one buys them. They go on even major clearance. I've gotten cases for a dollar, resold them for 20, 30 bucks. So definitely, if you guys are big into Walmart, don't sleep on phone cases because they do mark them down regularly. Good profits to be made there. Last but not least is going to be Star Wars Battlefront. Got it from Walmart for three to five dollars. Can't remember which one it was. Sold it for sixteen. Only about a five dollar profit. But like I said, guys, hundred percent ROI. Quick sellers. Um, definitely something to be on the lookout for. Um, but yeah, that is going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've gotten tons of good feedback when I do these type of videos. So if you guys want me to do these more regularly, um, I hope there's some type of educational value for you. I know I kind of showed you some different items. Be on the lookout for different brands. Um, so I really hope that can provide you guys with some sort of value. Again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, join our free Facebook group. Link in the description. I'll see you guys on the next video.